Cause real men shave Real men shave their faces Real men shave Their faces Good morning, Stevie Daily Shaver Five minutes, literally five minutes after I finish uploading yesterday's mail call, the posty toots. Guess what he's got? Yep, he's got the Colonial Razor. It's already got a blade in it. See, two small drill holes to keep things aligned. So take that, sit that on there. Holds it perfectly aligned. And handle, of course. Any marks on mine were covered up by the um, DLC process of blackening it. Looks okay. Alignments are good. Get to find out how it shaves now. Oh, so exciting. Today, I decided to go for Shaver Haven's Vanilla Oak. It was one of the ones I was running down. Oh, this has got a really rich chocolate woody smell. I like it. I find instead of loading out of these, I just go and grab a smidge, push that into the bottom of my fine bowl. There we go. This is the Mueller, obviously a black synthetic loft. It was 19, figured 21 was a bump up, and it is. Only slightly, but looking forward to the slightly bigger notch. Are you 20% off on cannot shaving? Why wouldn't you take advantage of it? That's my, why wouldn't you buy it? So I'm gonna drop it in my sink and warm those fibers up. It doesn't need long. Just give it a gentle squeeze out. The three steps, froth, broth. And as I say, leather, leather at last. The good thing about synthetics, they got no interest in the leather. They're leather agnostic. So they beat up a lot of leather and it basically transfers across to your face. It's the one upside over the, the badgers, which always eat a bit of leather for themselves because they like the water. They, I'm going to turn this into a Jaffa shave. I'm just going to use a little bit of orange mist. So there's no purpose other than mm, smelling good. And here we go. Now this part of the process is just about getting as much soap into your skin, between your hairs, into... Your face is not flat. Even if you're young and got taunt skin, it's still not flat. So you want to fill it up as much as possible with good leather. Everything chocolate to me smells good. It's got a beautiful chocolate scent, but it's got a woody oak to it. It's a grown up scent. So here we go. Today's single edge blade. Not too much face feel. I think colonial. Uh, on to a winner with this razor. Particularly at the price point they're offering it at. You know, sub $100. Machined aluminium. Let's see how good that was. For a first pass. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I got told I'd probably enjoy this. And uh, that advice was very close to the mark. It took off a lot in that uh, first pass. Yesterday was a shave with um, you know, a razor that I didn't take a lot of time to get really BBS close with. I love the way it dials in the angle. Very reminiscent of the aluminium goose. Tomorrow, I'll pop this blade out and I'll shave with the Claymore. That's the plan. The angle for the curved head just dials in on your face. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think they gave us 10 bucks off or something on the grounds that uh, the first gen wasn't quite up to their standard. And uh, 5 ten dollars get the first gen. Even if there's a couple of blemishes on it, it's going to shave fantastic. And the DLC black coating stuff, it's perfectly fine. It's going to cover up a multitude of sins. Right. Last but not least, I've got to have some more of the sandalwood. So, 
This time, remember not to deploy the heck out of it because you wind up with enough to do The link for the sandalwood will be down in the description. Um, it's listed on Amazon. I'm not sure about his other, other, I'm not sure whether it's listed through other Amazon stores, but if you can get some, wow. That is really impressive. It rounds off the woodiness of the scent of the vanilla oak beautifully. I'm going to go buy a label maker so I can put labels on the side of them so I can know what they are without pulling them out. As always, the fine bowl behaved exactly like it was supposed to. I was going to have a little blurb about my thoughts on synthetics. The original synthetic was the brush of the gods, this one, and it is soft. And as they got bigger in lots and the price reduced, I got ever bigger ones. Probably the biggest to date is near enough to the Kong. It's green. No, it's a Hulk. The new one is the Hulk. This is the Kong. Um, the Hulk should be green. I like this one. The... But I don't know how you can go much bigger and want any bigger. I'm... But you can do it, I just don't know why. However, I quite like this one. These Mueller's synthetics, well worth it. If you're looking for a high quality first brush, if you're new to shaving, a PIF kit with a $10 razor rock, right? Synthetic, absolutely. But if you're looking for a nice synthetic to keep for years of shaving, absolutely, go for a Mueller. Can't beat them. I know that the others are different and, you know, they got dancing on the heads of angels with fairy fur. Anyway. What do I think about the Colonial? 100% home run. I've got a real soft spot for this one. A real soft spot but uh, I gotta say Darth Vader eat your heart out I like this one too I could shave with either of those I'd be happy with either I like the fact that this goes really well on my uh, MR5 handle I like the weight you literally can shave with the weight because of the weight in this handle it's my preference over the one it comes with mind you I didn't waste the handle it came with have a look I thought the perfect one to put the handle on was the Falcon. Still like the Falcon. Shays, excellent. Looking forward to that happening one day. The next one, this is heavy. This is a heavy handle. This is a heavier cap. Together, they make for a heavier razor. Tomorrow, I'm shaving with this. Today, I shave with this one thrilled with it. The only question now is what will the $20 Razor Rock Italian Barber single edge be like when it comes out? Hopefully this month. Fingers crossed. If you're on the list for one and you can get the first generation, save 10 bucks, grab it. It's perfect. You're going to shave with it. You're going to love it. Is there a stand for it? If there is, why don't I own it? I'm Stevie Daly Shane for asking these and the other hard hitting questions. Good shaves and goodbye. Beard man, you think that you're so cool, but your face looks like a small masterpiece.